Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hey, 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 everyone, and welcome back. Welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast. What is up? All right, we are in NaNoWriMo day 14, and uh, you guys have now made it two weeks into the National Novel Writing Month process. And can I just say congratulations, good job, good work, way to go. You rock. You're awesome. You're amazing because you are tackling something that can feel really scary and it can make you feel like as if you have no idea what you're doing and it can make you feel like you are just not good enough and you'll never be good enough. And these thoughts sound familiar, don't they? (laughs) They do. These are the thoughts that plague our minds as writers. But sometimes we will have a good thought and then our self-sabotage will take that good thought and twist it into something else. So that is today's theme, which is the thought or writer's block of, I'm having fun. So does that mean I'm doing this wrong? (laughs) Right? Okay, totally. When I say it out loud, it, it definitely sounds like, what? Of course not. If you're having fun, that's amazing. You're doing a great job. You're probably really good at it since you're having fun. You know, outwardly, that makes sense. But inwardly, we're literally telling ourselves this on the inside, saying that, you know, I'm having a good time. Oh no. Does that mean that like, I've I've just gone into description too much? Oh, am I focusing too much on the romance? Am I even paying attention to what I'm writing? But what if I like it and nobody else likes it? What if I write it and it turns out that's what I need to cut? So, this thought is really interesting because it's almost as if your muse was trying to talk to you and then all of a sudden this like bulldozer comes in and knocks her over, um, him, her, they over, and then you're left there like, like, wait, what just happened? <laughs> so um, when you have fun, I want you to hold on to that. And, you know, one of the action items uh, for, well, for this episode is to go ahead and note down like in a journal or on your phone that you are having fun and state the reason why you're having fun. So one of the things that pops out to me when I write is that the characters start to take on the life of their own. And I start to have fun when the character is speaking for me and I did not anticipate it and I did not um, know that they were going to say that. But one of the most amazing times that I have fun is when I'm nearing the end of a book And I realize that this one small little detail in the beginning of the book, which is why we should pay attention to our muse, is a vital key for the ending. And it kind of just blows my mind because sometimes I'm like, what? Muse, how did you do that? How did you do that? You know, (laughs) and it just, it surprises me every time. Like, I mean, after several books of practice, you would think that I'd be like, oh yeah, this is what's going to happen. But there's that imposter syndrome that still lingers, which is, oh, my muse will run out. Um, she'll dry up, she'll shrivel away, and then she'll float into the sky, never come back to me again. Um, but that is not how our creative voices work. They are part of you. They are part of your soul, your brain. Um, they make up, you know, a, a, almost, and this is not literal, but a part of your genetics. You know, they're part of your DNA because your creative voice wouldn't be there if you hadn't grown up the way you did, if you hadn't read what you did, if you hadn't seen what you did. Um, so your creative voice will be there because it's part of you. Now, biologically, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that there is like a DNA cell for the muse. <laughs> Bear with me on this, y'all. <laughs> but um, I think that if we look at it that way, you know, the muse will not leave us. And if you're having fun, it means that your muse is having fun as well. So if you're having fun, does that mean you're doing it wrong? No, not at all. In fact, you are doing it so right. It's beautiful. And you need to hold on to that process because if you don't have fun with your writing, then it's not going to last long. If you burn out, then you're going to stop writing. And that is just tragic because your creative voice deserves to be out there. 
So if you're having fun, take that as a signal that you are going in the right direction. Don't worry about the critical editor. Don't worry about what's coming down the pipeline later when you have to do edits. If you're having fun, then that is going to keep you a long distance writer. So y'all, if you're having fun today in NaNoWriMo, that is amazing. And keep going because your story deserves to be told. All right, that was NaNoWriMo day 14. Writer's block is, I feel like I'm having fun. Am I doing this wrong? So if you need more information on NaNoWriMo, go to www.nanowrimo.org. You can find all that information there. Remember y'all, just because we're two weeks in and you haven't started it, that does not mean it's too late. Remember, it's better to start than to have nothing at the end of the month, right? Even if you have three pages, you know that in November you did three pages. Um, All right. And if you need writing help, get your three free writer's toolkits at www.blackheartstudios.com and click on writers for uh, resources for writers. Um, And uh, apparently we're still having some tech issues, which is totally fine because um, as I mentioned, um, my tech guy, oh, this poor dude, like God bless him. Um, he, he's gone sick. His whole family's gone sick. So hopefully he gets better. So I'm just like, you know, that's a good thing about our writing um, is that it's not urgent. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, don't worry, dude, you get back to your health. Remember y'all health first, because as I said in the princess bride, um, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Um, but we're going to move forward and we're all going to move forward. So um, if you do want those three writers toolkits and you can't find them, you can email me at Maciel at blackheartedstudios.com. Then I will send that your way. Y'all thank you so much. And we will see you tomorrow. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the how to write a book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.